Hello everybody, Brad Johnson here, and I have a second update for everybody. As I was talking about the Kazarev mirrors in a previous update, this is a whole new construct of the Kazarev mirror. And what I'm really using is just a simple hula hoop, and I have it attached to my, well, I guess you could say kind of uh, bulge of a wall. <laughs> And this is it. So it looks a lot more streamlined, I would say, than this one. This one, again, is kind of our first prototype. So I'm going to be taking this one down and making another one like this. So this one is a lot more cylindrical. And I'll just walk around the area here as well, too. And because it is of a different construct, because there are several different variations of the Kazarev mirror, I'm going to be giving it a name. It's a little bit different than the traditional. I'm going to be referring to this as the Taurus Meditation Mirror, or the Taurus Mirror for short. The reason I say that is because it's all about the Taurus field, right? It's like sitting in the middle of a Taurus field. Uh, when we look at how Kazarev also talked about that this invention, that this particular design is all about torsion energy. Well, he is somewhat correct about that. But torsion energy is an effect. It's not a cause, right? So it would be much more accurate to look at this as a torus field or a hypertoroid. But to keep it simple, I'm referring to this as the torus meditation mirror. So this really took me about uh, two hours to construct. Uh, it's just almost about eight o'clock right now my time. I started just before six o'clock, but it's turned out really, really well. And I was sitting inside of it for about 15 minutes and the strength of it feels a lot more potent than with this one. This one again, just isn't really streamlined. It's not really, uh, I guess you could say harmoniously aligned. There is a kind of just, <laughs> it was our first attempt, but it's just a little bit more bent out of shape. Right. This one, again, is much more cleaner. This one, again, really complements the cylindrical pattern of the mirror itself. And it's very, very powerful. As soon as you step in, you're, the back of your head just starts vibrating. And the top of your head starts vibrating. And you can tell there's a lot of activity. There's a lot of activations going on as you're going into the, as I now term it, the Taurus mirror. So... Very, very interesting. Like I said, Kazarev definitely was a genius. He discovered something very powerful through this. And we're going to be doing a lot more uh, exploration of this, a lot more research. And I'm actually going to be making, like I said, a second one here. I'm going to pull this one down, make one just like this. And this is actually going to be offered uh, through sessions through the Radiate Regen Center here in Langley, BC. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, so I'm probably going to put the second one together here uh, in about a day or two. But I'm just going to enjoy this one tonight because you can just see the difference. That one and that one. <laughs> Quite a big difference altogether. So I thought I would share the second update with you guys, just giving you guys the, uh, the information on the second one that has now been constructed. Like I said, I'm just using a kid's hula hoop for the top here because it is the perfect circle. Right, and it brings about a perfect cylinder. So I'm excited about getting more uh, research done, more insight about this, and of course, I'll be keeping you guys in the loop. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you again soon in the next update. Bye for now.